What up, Ring Crew Army, and welcome to the Square Circle Podcast. I am your host, Marie Shadows, and we are keeping the conversation going of New Japan Pro Wrestling Soccer Genesis 2021 match card that happened on April 4th at Rio Goku Sumo Hall. We are currently on match four, which is Jay White teaming up with Bad Luck Fale to take on Tanahashi and Kojima. And as you guys know, on this podcast, I love talking about Jay White and diving into everything that he does match wise backstage comment wise and his all around character to be the very best and the number one asset for new japan pro wrestling ever since coming back and first attacking ishii getting rid of ishii putting him in place so his destino can be correct as he goes on this journey to face kota ibushi to recapture the iwgp championship titles but a certain rival by the name of David Finley had upset Jay White's journey to this goal of his during the New Japan Cup when David Finley got the victory over Jay White. And now it is a 12 and 2 lead. So David Finley is out of place at this moment in Jay White's journey to one day get back to the top. And now Jay White has his sights focused on that never overweight championship that Tanahashi currently holds in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Jay White, again, wants to be in the conversation of the greats in professional wrestling. He wants to become the first ever quadruple crown champion of New Japan Pro Wrestling by challenging Tanahashi for that never openweight championship belt. The only belt that he has not won yet in New Japan Pro Wrestling. The other belt is the six-man never open weight tag team championships that I was hoping himself, Tamatanga Tangaloa, would have captured in the beginning of the year in February when Jay White went after Ishii, Goto, and Yoshihashi. That would have been so sweet. To see gold wrapped around the waist of Jay White and more gold wrapped around the waist of G.O.D. Bullet Club would have been singing in gold and they would have been the boat collectors. They would have started it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But we're currently here with Jay White teaming up with Fale to take on Tanahashi and Kojima. And in this little chase between Tanahashi and Jay White, Jay White is doing everything in his power to get the match he wants from Tana. Tana has said no m- multiple times, and he feels that Jay needs to earn it in order to get the championship title match. Jay White has wins against Tana. Is that not enough to challenge for the Never Openweight Championship? Tana is definitely way too prideful, but it works out in the end. Even though this match was a tag team match, Jay White and Tanahashi starts off the match and it feels different. It feels like I was watching a different Tanahashi that was back to old Tanahashi where he enjoyed wrestling and he enjoyed doing what he was doing and definitely took control of the match. He kept the side headlock control for a while in the beginning of the match on Jay White until Jay White decides to pull at Tanahashi's hair and so did Tanahashi return the favor and then backed up Tanahashi in the corner and starts delivering forearms and kicks, giving himself an opening so that way Tanahashi doesn't have to maintain the side headlock for so long. Jay then sends Tanahashi into the other corner pad and Tana comes in with a back elbow and then goes up to the second rope and does a crossbody to Jay White. Tanahashi then tags in Kojima. Kojima gives some kicks to Jay White and both Tanahashi and Kojima does some tag team moves against Jay White by doing a double shoulder tackle to him. Kojima comes in with multiple chops to Jay in the corner. Kojima then sends Jay White into the other corner pad and does a splash. As Jay rolls away, Kojima climbs up to the top rope and Gato holds Kojima's foot. This allows Jay some time to get up and throw Kojima from the top rope onto the mat. Jay then knocks down Tanahashi and attacks him on the outside, throwing him into the barricade. Jay comes in to the ring and does some chops of his own to Kojima and then rakes the face 
of Kojima and then does a neck breaker to him in the middle of the ring. Jay White goes for a cover. Kojima kicks out at two. Jay then tags in Fale. Fale then slams Kojima down onto the mat and decides to stand on his back while Jay White distracts the referee. Fale then tags in Jay. Jay knocks down Tana. Fale holds Kojima. Jay comes in with more chops and then runs off the rope. However, Jay is met with a big boot by Kojima. Kojima then fights out of Fale's grip with an elbow and a DDT to Fale. Kojima comes in with the Koji Cutter to Jay White. Tanahashi comes in with some combo strikes and then Tana sends Fale to the floor. Tana comes in with a flying forearm, then a body slam, and a senton on Jay White. Jay kicks out at two from the attempted pin by Tanahashi. Jay White and Tanahashi then begin to do a stand and switch until Jay White grabs Tanahashi's hair. Tanahashi then breaks free of Jay White's grip. However, Jay White brings Tanahashi down to the mat by pulling him by his hair and then does a dragon screw to Tana's leg. Tanahashi manages to get up with support from the ropes and in the corner. Jay comes rushing in with an uppercut forearm and then does the blade buster and covers Tanahashi. However, Tanahashi kicks out at two. Jay White then starts working on Tanahashi's legs. Jay then applies the cloverleaf to Tanahashi. However, Tanahashi is not allowing Jay White to get the full effect of the cloverleaf. So Tana counters and does a dragon screw leg whip to Jay instead. Jay knocks down Kojima when he gets up to a vertical base. Though Tanahashi does not get the tag to Kojima. And then Jay hops over to Fale for the tag. Fale comes in with a clothesline to Tanahashi in the corner. And then an elbow drop to Tanahashi. Fale goes for the cover on Tanahashi but Tanahashi kicks out at 2. Fale tries for the grenade but Tanahashi counters that. Fale then does a big clothesline and prepares Tanahashi for the Fale fall. Kojima comes in and stops it. Jay pulls Kojima to the mat by his hair. And Jay White takes advantage of Tanahashi by trying to set him up for the Blade Runner. But Tana counters that too with a sling blade. And Fale comes in with another attempt at the grenade. However, that doesn't work. Tana then does the twist and shout. And Kojima comes in with a lariat and Tanahashi goes up to the top rope to deliver a frog splash on Fale. And Tana goes over and pins Bad Luck Fale for the one, two, three and picks up the victory for himself and Kojima. And now for the post-match breakdown. Tanahashi decides to put Jay White in the cloverleaf. Jay White honestly allowed Tanahashi to do this. And as Jay White is in the cloverleaf, Jay White taps out to Tanahashi. This makes Tanahashi smile and is super happy about it. And so he decides to grab the microphone. Jay White is on the ropes and Tanahashi proceeds to tell him that he accepts Jay White's challenge for the Never Open Weight Championship title. So that's going to be on the line. Jay White got what he wanted. Jay White is a smart man and he allowed Tanahashi to take the bait to finally get what he wants. And you could definitely see as he turns to the camera and does a little smirk. And you can see the mischievous glee in Jay White's eyes that lets you know, man, Tanahashi took everything, took the bait took everything that Jay White was throwing at him and that pride you could definitely feel that pride coming from Tanahashi that he's going to put the belt on the line and he knows he's going to win because he had Jay White tap out to the Cloverleaf which he calls it the JTO which is the J tap out which is also a play on the fact that when Jay White made Tanahashi tap out, he just called it the TTO and is the Tanahashi tap out. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Obviously, you guys know that I am rooting for Jay White. Jay White will be our new never open weight champion come May 3rd on night one of Wrestling Dontaku.
Now, post-match comments from Jay White. Jay White is having the most fun that I've ever seen a wrestler have in his or her career. The way that he delivers promos, the people that he brings backstage to have these interactions with. So he brings Yuya. Poor Yuya. One of these days, it's going to be Yuya versus Jay White. I just know it. It's going to be Yuya versus Jay White. Yuya is going to have something to prove so that way Jay White doesn't continue to pick on him. But is playful, lovable picking on him. Anyway, he brings Yuya with him because Yuya is helping him to the back after Jay White has been put in the cloverleaf. And he says that he didn't tap out. Jay White knows he didn't tap out. So him and Gator are asking Yuya if Jay White tapped out. And Gato asks Yuya in Japanese, did Jay tap out? And Yuya said yes. Yuya is always putting himself in truthful situations where he needs to learn how to lie. The first time around was when Jay White asked Yuya if Jay White was going to win or Ishii was going to win. And Yuya says Ishii. In this situation, it's did Jay White tap out? And the correct answer is no. Even though we all saw Jay White tap out, it wasn't really a match. It was during the post-match because the bell had already rung. So it really doesn't count. So Jay White technically did not tap out to anything. So in this situation, Yuya decided to say yes because that's what he saw. That's what we all saw. But he should have said no and lied and basically bring up Jay White's ego. But it's totally okay. Jay White just talks with Yuya and runs him through what happened and stuff and then pushes him away and tells him to go tell Tanahashi that Jay tapped out. And that's exactly what he did. Then Jay White proceeds to mention how he got Tanahashi to do exactly what he wanted and this is how good of a manipulator Jay White is. Jay White gets what he wants, whether it's win, lose, or draw, when it comes down to it. Jay White gets what he wants. Sometimes he could be a little overconfident, and that cockiness can definitely get him into some trouble and have certain pieces to his puzzle out of place. But nine times out of ten, Jay White gets what he wants. Jay White wins. And that one time is to have room for improvising if things go wrong, if things go not as planned and you have no backup. That is your little window to improvise to make sure that you are still number one, to make sure that you are still the winner and to make sure that people remember the hurt that you gave them if it ever comes to that. So Jay White definitely had Tanahashi where he wanted him. Jay White tapped out so that way Tanahashi can feel that sense of pride to put that championship on the line and to feel like he will win at Wrestling Dantaku when we get there on May 3rd. Because that's what pride does to people. Pride makes you feel like you can definitely take on the whole world and definitely not lose. And when it comes to your rival, if your rival taps out to you, then you're definitely going to retain the championship. That's probably what's going through Tanahashi's head. Wow, Jay White is celebrating the fact that he got Tanahashi to do exactly what he wanted, has Tanahashi where he needs him. And then when it comes time for their singles match, Jay White would definitely be our new never open weight champion. Because then what's the point of all this buildup? What's the point of JY wanting to be in the conversation of being the first quadruple crown champion? It wouldn't make any sense. The payoff wouldn't make any sense if JY does not get this championship title. So confirmed for May 3rd, wrestling Dantaku, it would definitely be JY White taking on Tanahashi for that never open weight championship title. And if you guys enjoyed my analysis of Jay White and Fale taking on Kojima and Tanahashi during New Japan Pro Wrestling Soccer Genesis, then leave me a comment. Anchor.fm forward slash Square Circle Podcast. You can definitely leave me a voice message there. 
And if you're on Twitter, follow me at Marie underscore shadows to keep the conversation going about Sakura Genesis.